Well, it's been a very busy day in the armoury today. I've had lots going out and quite a lot coming in. Um, I've been waiting for this one since October. Uh, well, not waiting, waiting, but I'd heard about it. I was offered it and I said, yes, please, ASAP. Well, ASAP, as soon as possible, has happened now. So, I'm really quite pleased to see this because I'm a big fan of this rifle in its sporting format. So now, there you go. That is the Mauser M18, and that's a 6.5 Creedmoor version in the Oryx stock. So, give you a quick rundown on this one. I'll be putting a moderator on it, suppressor for my American friends, 18 by one thread, metric. It's a heavy barrel, I haven't measured anything yet, but it looks like a good 26 incher. Um, Picatinny rail on it, it's a 20 MOA Picatinny rail. They've sent me a Minox scope on it, which is a 5 to 25, but I might put something on with some turrets if I get a bit of dialing doing later on shooting some longer distance stuff. Uh, there's a 10 round box mag. Looks like it feeds two columns, very nice. Uh, as I say, I'm a, I, I'm a big fan of the M18 in 243 as a sporting rifle. I think it's a, a chronically undersold gun, actually, personally, because you've got this lovely bolt here with 60 degree travel and it, it just it just it's just blissful i think it's actually regardless of the price of the m18 i think that is one of the best bolt designs there is uh, and then we move back on the oryx stock so we've got adjustable cheek piece a uh, recourse pad with spacers underneath we've got picatinny for a, 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 um, a monopod so Yes, I am very much looking forward to, to seeing this and using it. I'll do a bit of left-handed trigger there. The trigger so far feels quite nice. It's light, I haven't weighed it. I would estimate that is below, it's below 600 grams, but we shall see. So there you go, it's a heavy barrel, fully floating. The underside of this chassis system has got lots of M-lock on it. It's also got a nice sub standard uh, stud, so I can put a Harris on if I want to put a Harris on it. And it's um... yes, I've just unboxed it, and I'm well. I'm a bit blown away today because I've had so much stuff. But uh, this is probably the one of the one I've been one of the ones I've been looking forward to uh, to shooting the most. And in a six five Creedmoor, it's uh, it's a nice delicate one to shoot and I have got an 18 by one moderator for it already I've just taken the thread cap off by the way it does come with a nice thread cap so yes there we go please like subscribe and comment if you want to see more about this I suspect this is one I might do a full video on I don't do full videos on all the gear I get in because there just isn't the time and a lot of the time it just won't finance itself anyway uh, we've got cool we've got a nice quick release uh, sling cups in there and any at the back end yes there's some at the back end as well so yeah like subscribe comment please and if you'd like a full review on it it's a good month away i would have thought but this is one of the ones i want to do myself so um thanks for watching bye for now